Hi guys and welcome back to a new video. In today's video, I will explain how you can make millions of gold in Dragonflight with all your different outs. This is something that a lot of you have asked me to talk about and what I'm going to do is really explain how you can use all these different characters that you're not really playing with or that you want to use in order to make some gold and how you can make a lot of gold right now in Dragonflight. After that, what you can also do with all your different alts is simply go here in Taltrazus and you want to go in the Primalist Future. So in order to get to the Primalist Future, you just want to go in the Temporal Conflux and you will be able to click on the portal. When you are there, you will have a chance at seeing this treasure chest, the chest of the element that will pop up on the map. And when this happens, basically it will start a little scenario. You just want to kill a different waves of mobs. And finally, with the last mini boss, you will be able to then open the chest and inside the chest, you will have a chance at getting different type of items, including this design for the ring bound hourglass. This is again a beer recipe that you can then sell on the auction house for right now on most realms for more than eight or 900,000 gold. Right now, for instance, in two weeks, I sold on high pop realms, three of them for anywhere between 900 to 300,000 gold. So really, this is still something you can make a lot of gold with. The only annoying part with that is honestly to just find this uh, chest of the element little event. What you can do, of course, is simply go in the pre-made group in the custom search and just type chest of the element or trial. And like that, sometimes you will have people who will create, as you can see right now, some of these little group and you can join it and you can directly do the chest. So if you have, for instance, an alt you're not playing with, you can just leave your alt in the primary future. Just logging, see if the mini event is up or not, do the mini event and have a chance at getting this item. And of course, if you cannot do it by yourself, you can also just create a group that you can call the trio of the elements and like that people will join and help you. After that, what you can also do is come in the Zarek Cavern and you want to kill a rare called Brulo the Strong. He's located just here in Glimrog. Basically, with this rare, you will have a chance at getting this pet right here, Brawl, from the chest that will spawn when you defeat the boss. And this pet right now on most realms is selling for, on average, 100k gold. So this is a really good pet. I sold three of them already and I'm currently trying to farm more. So, so you can just leave your alts, just logging, see if the rare is up or not. You can also go again in the custom search. You can just type and see if anyone is currently having a group for Bruto. You can also create a group if you're alone and you want to defeat him. And like that, you will have a chance at getting this pet. One thing that is very important to mention is the fact that in order to have a chance at actually getting the pets, you will need to use these rocks on the rocks. Basically, as soon as the boss is defeated, just before the chest spawns, you want to use this. You will be transformed into this creature. And like that, you will have a chance at getting the pet. If you're not doing this step, unfortunately, you won't have a chance at getting the pet. So really make sure to do that. As you can see, you can buy these different rocks on the rocks from the auction house for anywhere like between 10 gold to 20 gold each. So that's the main thing. And this is honestly very easy to do. After that, we're going to have all the different one-time treasure chests that you can get from the Dragon House. And this is something you can do on each of your alts. The first treasure that we're going to talk about is located just here in Taldrasus, as you can see, not far from the Algetar Academy. And this is this elegant canvas brush. As you can see, this is an item that you can then directly vendor and it will reward you with 2000 gold. So this is something again, very easy that you can do on any of your characters. Then after that, you just want to come just here still in Taldrasus. What you want to do is simply click on two items. You have an acorn that will be growing on the ground. Just click on it. You will then get a buff. And then you only click on this growing flower. Click on it. And like that, you will then be able to go and click on this little thing on the tree. And you will receive the pet chestnut that you can then learn and cage and sell anywhere between 5 to 10k gold on most realms. Then you want to go in the Onaran Plains and you want to go in Marukai. When you are in Marukai, you want to try to find a little dog called Ludo. What you can do is simply create a macro with the slash target Ludo and you will find him pretty easily. When you click on Ludo, it will drop you a map. What you want to do is simply learn the map and like that, you will have a new treasure chest that will spawn on the map. Just go there, click on the little pile of sand, whatever that is there. 
and like that you will receive an egg and after three days this egg will hatch and you will receive the pet the very decent duck that you can again learn and cage and then sell in the auction house for anywhere between five to ten thousand gold on most realms after that you want to go in the azure span and you want to go inside this big tree you want to click on this tree sap as you can see this is something that will give you a buff that will last for five minutes then all you want to do is come back on top of this tree and here as you can see you will be able to basically use this thing in order to attract uh, this pepper hammer by clicking on this stick and as you can see really you just want to come here in the azure span then this pepper hammer is going to be attracted and all you want to do once it's there is click on him and again you will receive a pet that you can then learn cage and sell on the auction house for anywhere between five to ten thousand gold so again very easy to do then after that we're gonna have all the daily cooldowns for the different professions from dragonflight so as you can imagine the first one i'm going to mention is of course alchemy and especially you have the different transmutes the one right now that probably is going to be one of the best is the one for the dracotist Again, if you want to use that and make an actual profit, you will need to have quite a lot of multi-craft in order to actually get some procs and then make even more gold. After that, of course, you also have the normal transmutes for all the different awakened elements. So this is something that can always be nice. And again, you can do it once per day. This is something you can definitely make a little bit of gold with. And then you also have tailoring. With tailoring, you will be able to create different type of bolts. You have the chronocloth bolt and also the azure weave bolts. Again, these are daily cooldowns and you can do it with all your different alts. So this is something that can make you some gold. Keep in mind, again, you will need, I would say, a lot of resourcefulness or maybe multi-craft in order to make it profitable. But it's still something that is important to mention. Then we're going to have all the different professions from Mist of Pandaria this time. So these ones are really, really interesting, especially I would say the one in my opinion is going to be probably the best is the engineering profession. With engineering, you will be able to craft these different jars, specular energy source, and these are used to then craft, for instance, the sky golem. So for the sky golem, as you can see, you will need 30 of them. It means that basically, if you have a couple of characters where you have no professions, you can just learn engineering with Mist of Pandaria. And like that, at some point, you will be able to craft these different jars, peculiar energy source once per day per character. And it means every month you will be able to craft different of these sky golems that you can then sell in the auction house for quite a lot of gold. And of course, you have different type of things you can then craft with these different jars uh, items. So definitely, I would say this is something that is really useful. Another one that is really good from Mr. Pandaria is going to be blacksmithing. So as you can see with blacksmithing, you will be able to craft some of these lightning, steel ingo, and balanced trium ingo. And these are really useful because as you can still, as you can see with these, you will be able to then craft all these different appearances for these reborn weapons from the Burning Crusade. And these are usually selling for quite a lot of gold. So Definitely, I would recommend you to do that as well. And then you have, again, many, many different things you can do with all these different things. But this is probably one of the best ways to use these different lightning steel ingo and to make a lot of gold with that. And keep in mind, each time you craft these different ingots, so once per day, you will also unlock some of the recipes to craft these different gladiator sets that sell really well and for a lot of gold, especially if you then add some of these relic of the past. You can then make these items really useful for the Tower of the Mage event, and this is something that always sells. Finally, in terms of professions, we also have the ones from World of the Joiner. So this is something I talked about in an other video. And this time, as you can see with World of the Joiner, we will be able to craft some of these uh, true secrets of Joiner Blacksmithing. And for instance, the True Steel Ingo for Blacksmithing, but then you have other type of materials with all your different characters. So here, what's interesting is that with this different True Steel Ingo, you will be able to then craft these different appearances here. And you can now use these different remarkable essences in order to make these appearance even better. This is something that can be nice. Again, this is not the best way, but this is still something that I think is important to mention. And also, when you are in your garrison, you can make some orders into your little profession centers 
in order to get even more of these ingots. And again, these have daily cooldowns. So it's definitely something I would recommend you to do if you want to make a little bit of gold with all these different nice appearances, especially with blacksmithing. Then, of course, another way you can make some gold with your different arts is by simply completing some of the different world quests that will reward you with some gold. For instance, here, as you can see, you will get 600 gold for completing this one. Then if you go here, this is another 600 gold. And then here you will be able to get 800 gold with this one and then 600 gold with this one. So you can do that with all your different arts and like that you can get already a little bit of raw gold pretty easily. Then after that, you have your mission table from the Shadowlands. So here, what we're after are these different polished pet charms. With the different polished pet charms, you can then buy different type of pets and everything that you can sell on the auction house for quite a lot of gold. So what you can do again is just leave some of your characters here and very easily you can just come, complete these different missions, get a lot of these different polished pet charms and keep in mind you can send them to your different characters because these are binds to your Blizzard icons. So this is a really easy way to make also a little bit of gold and definitely something that I know a lot of people are still doing even in Dragonflight. Then you have another one-time chest that you can get this time in Ardenwild in the Shadowlands. So all, all you want to do is come here in Ardenwild and you want to enter this dead tree. And as you can see here at the bottom, you will be able to open this chest. And this is the Dark Rich Supplies. And then you will receive at least one weapon. This is random and this is based on all these different weapons right here and some of them can then be sold on the auction house for a lot of gold so for instance as you can see this shrine right here especially the staff is definitely going to be one of the best ones and you have different versions these are really the items that you're after because as you can see on most realms it's going to sell for 100k gold on average and you also have these two headpiece cannot really show them right here but these are also nice transmog items and again this is a guaranteed drop at least one of these items for each of your characters. So just come here and you will be able to get that easily. Then after that, if you have a Warlock, what you can do is just leave him on the Isle of Thunder. This is a place from Mist of Pandaria. As you can see, in order to access the Isle of Thunder, you will have to come here in the Tonlong Steps and you will have to come in the Shadow Pan Garrison. Here you will find some portals that will transport you into the Isle of Thunder. And when you are here, basically, you will be able to kill different rares. As you can see, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 of them. And basically, or 11, normally there is another one here. And each of these different rares will have a chance at dropping one of these sealed Tome of the Lost Legion. It will only drop if you are a Warlock. And you can then sell this on the Auction House. Basically, this is a very interesting item because any Warlock can then use it in order to get this green fire, the fell fire, on all your different spells. And so this is something that still sells for anywhere between 40 to 60,000 gold on most realms. After that, we're going to have two world bosses from the Burning Crusade. So again, this is, I would say, something that you can do just by leaving your character there and then just logging in and trying to find the rare or not, I mean the world boss. You have one that will be located just here at the entrance of the Black Temple. This is Doomwalker. And then you will also have another one located in the Hellfire Peninsula just here. And this is this why the Doomlor Kazakh. As you can see, these two world bosses will drop a lot of really interesting loot, including this staff right here and this sword right here for the Doomlord Kazakh. And then this axe for Doomwalker and all these different items can be sold for quite a lot of gold on most realms. The easiest way for you to farm these two world bosses is to have your alt having his earthstone in one of the cities next to the throne of Kil'jaeden. So for instance, Tramar for the different hordes. All you want to do is go try to kill Doomlord Kazakh if he's up. And then you just want to find any type of pet or critter. And you want to use the toy, the fractured Necrolite skull on them. It will create this gate that will allow you to then be teleported in front of the Black Temple. And like that, you can directly go kill Doomwalker if he's up. And then you can use your Earthstone and go back directly to the throne of Kil'jaeden, wait maybe three, four hours for them to respawn and do that again. In order for you to get the Fractured Necrolite Skull, you can only get it during the time walking event for the Burning Crusade. And I think it will cost you 1,500 or like a little bit less of the different Time wrap badges. 
Then also in the Abyssal Depth, we have another very interesting rare that you can kill in order to make even more gold. As you can see, this is Poseidus. So Poseidus will have different spawn points. You have one just here. Then you have one just here in the Sea Shimmering Expanse. You have another one just here and here. And finally, a last one just here. So when you kill Poseidus, he will automatically drop this mount, the Reigns of Poseidus. And you can then sell the mount on the auction house. As you can see, it sells really fast, really well. And this is something, again, that you can do very easily. So usually what people do is they just leave the character maybe in the middle. They just log in, try to just find Poseidus or maybe Mobius as well. And then if they kill Poseidus, they just post the mount on the auction house and then log off and then maybe come back in a few hours later when the rare might be up again or maybe the next day. Again, something very easy that you can do with some of your alts. Then you can also leave one of your alts in the Tenant Jungle in Drainer in this area right here. When you are here, you will be able to find three rares, Dracum, you also have Smashroom Grab and Gondar. And these three rares are pretty interesting because each of them will have a chance at dropping a toy that you can then sell on the auction house. So as you can see, you have the Crushing Trashing Cannon Controller, the Crushing Trashing Water Controller, and also the last one is this one, the Crushing Trashing Mortar Controller. So what you can do again is just leave your character right here and just circle, kill the rares and log out. This is as simple as that. Then for those of you who are really motivated, you can do the following quest on any of your characters that can equip a two-handed axe. So for instance, a warrior, a paladin, or a death knight. And this quest is the legendary quest line to get Shadowmorn from the Ice Crown Citadel. This is the final raid of Wrath of the Lich King. Basically, as you can see, you will have to complete all these different quests. It will probably take you, I believe, like two months or something like that. And at the end, you will be able to get this legendary weapon. But next to that, you will also be able to get all the different items that are here. The first one is the Reigns of the Crimson of Dam Charger. So as you can see, this one can be sold on most rounds for 300k gold. As you can see, I sold one for 427,000 gold. So this is definitely a really good mount to have on the auction house. Then you also have this toy right here, the Muradin's Paper. This one, again, can be sold for anywhere between 40 to 80,000 gold on most realms. I sold it for 71,000 gold. Then you have the Tabard of the Light Bringer. This one on most realms is also 150,000 gold. Then you have the Sylvanas Music Box. Again, 60 to 100k gold on most realms. And finally, you have the Jaina's Locket. This is another item that you can sell for maybe 20 to 40,000 gold. So this is definitely something that will take a little bit of time. But as you can see, you will be able to make a lot of gold in the end. And also, if you don't already have Shadow Moon and the achievement that goes with it, you can do that and you will get all of that at once. So that's pretty much it for today's video. I really hope it will help you make some gold with all your different alts. Keep in mind, there are probably plenty of other ways, but these are at least the main ways I've been using over the years in order to make some gold with all my alts. I will be back very soon with more guys and more videos. And in the meantime, I wish you all a great Sunday. Bye.